The Cinematograph Act of 1909 brought in a raft of safety requirements, things particularly to do with fire safety, because uh, film at this point was made of nitrate and highly, highly flammable. The projection had to be from a fireproof separate box, separate to the main auditorium, very much like the, the projection boxes still are today. And so suddenly little purpose-built cinemas start to spring up in the early 1910, 1911. The oldest of these in Glasgow that's still standing is the Hillhead Picture Salon in Vinnicombe Street in the West End. Lovely little building, quite a little small cinema, still there today, uh, it's now currently a pub. It's a very unusual building, it's, uh, it's category A listed for its architectural importance and that's primarily because it's built of reinforced concrete and the reason it was made of this was to make it fireproof. And it's quite a remarkable, quite a remarkable little building and when it opened in uh, 1914 it, uh, you could take tea and biscuits while you watched the film and you were entertained, because it was silent films of course, by the uh, in-house orchestra led by Mr Herr If. The West End had uh, a character all of its own in cinema terms in, in the 1970s because Byers Road was thriving and there was this definite sort of university vibe about the whole thing and, and the salon in Vinicombe Street and the Grosvenor on Byers Road uh, took full advantage of that. Willie Walker, who was the manager of the, the salon at the time, was a, an old school cinema manager and he knew his clientele perfectly so he would program effectively he ran it like a film society, so he would put interesting double bills together so that you could go and, you know, maybe pick up something that you'd missed when it was on its original release. There's a great atmosphere in the salon, and it had that kind of old style picture hall. I think it was built in 1910 or thereabouts, but it had this old decoration in it and panelled walls, which made it felt special. Uh, it didn't feel like you know, like the, the, the rest of the sort of commercial cinemas were all velvety and plush and what have you. And it had this decor to it that made it feel kind of special. It was a small place. It was a small place. And the salon was the, the sister cinema to the Grosvenor uh, and the Grosvenor Picture House on Byers Road. And if you remember, the, the front entrance used to be on Byers Road, but not in the lane where it is now. And that's where the school would take us for uh, The Tempest. I think um, we went to see there at school children. The Grosvenor, as I recall, was just a magnificent flea pit. It was one of these grand old ladies that was fading, fading fast. Uh, but again, still very, very interesting double bills aimed at a university audience. Um, I remember seeing Rosemary's Baby and If on a double bill in the Grosvenor in the 70s. I'm not sure which of those was the more terrifying film, but it was a, a great cinema going experience. The cinema originally sat about 1,300 people on a big single screen. There was a, a tea room above the entrance on Byers Road. There was a soda fountain apparently in this little cafe as well. There were boxes you could book at the back of the stalls, which were apparently very uh, popular with uh, students because uh, they, could, they could cram in as many folk as they needed to in the box for all for the, a flat rate. In about 1980, it was closed down for a while um, when they demolished the old entrance to Byers Road. They moved the entrance round to what was the back, which is, uh, into Ashton Lane, and they split the cinema up. So we ended up with two small screens at the Grosvenor, then called the Ashton and the Kelvin, each of which sat about 230 people, so quite a lot less. People could be held than the 1300 when it was a big single screen, but it was uh, ran very successfully and has now been uh, restored and reopened. Still has a two, two screen small cinema downstairs, but if you go upstairs in the above the Grosvenor to the Grosvenor Cafe, you'll see um, this huge big vaulted open space with the original roof of the, the 1920s cinema, fantastically restored. Uh, beautiful plaster work, uh, barrel vaulted ceiling, just gives you a sense of the sheer scale of the cinema as it would have been as a single screener. So if you go to visit the Grosvenor, go see a film, but also nip upstairs, admire the ceiling and buy a drink. <laughs>